Hey everybody, it's today's Monday Market Update for Monday, January 25th, 2021. Today we're going to talk about whether it's a buyer or seller's market, and the answer is it depends. So we're going to break it down by price point. So stick around. Hey everybody, it's Brad Cox from the Vesta Group of Long & Foster. So today's Monday Market Update is going to focus on whether it's a buyer or seller's market. And nationally we hear that it's a it's a pretty strong seller's market but it really depends on number one the area you're in and number two the price point so let's take a look at some statistics to understand what's really going on in the market and we're going to look at baltimore city and baltimore county as examples all right so when we think about whether it's a buyer or a seller's market we think about months of supply and six months of supply is considered balanced meaning that it favors neither the buyer nor the seller all right, so in Baltimore City, and I just ran these numbers today, if you have a home priced at less than $250,000, there is 1.44 months of supply. Between 250 and 500K, it's 1.23 months of supply. 500K to 750K is 1.85 months of supply. So anything up to $750,000, you're in a pretty strong seller's market. You have less than two months of supply. But if you go to $750,000 to 1 million, there's 6.21 months of supply. So that's a fairly balanced market. Neither the buyer nor the seller really are favored in that situation. And when you go over $1 million, there's 15.02 months of supply. All the market talk about it being a very strong seller's market no longer applies at that price point in Baltimore City. Again, specific to both the location and to the price point. Now let's look at how that compares to Baltimore County. In Baltimore County, homes under $250,000, 0.55 months of supply. There's an incredible demand for homes at that starter price point. 250 to 500, 0.51 months of supply, 500 to 750, 0.98 months of supply, 750 to 1 million, still under one month of supply at 0.97. And then if you go over 1 million, 3.06 months of supply. So in Baltimore County, even north of a million dollars, you're still in a seller's market. Whereas in Baltimore City, if you go north of a million dollars, you switch over to a buyer's market. And it breaks down even further than that. These are areas that are fairly large, Baltimore City and Baltimore County. But in particular, in Baltimore City, it's a very neighborhood-driven area. So values can swing wildly from one particular zip code to another. And then even within a zip code, from neighborhood to neighborhood. And the same thing applies in Baltimore County. So the message to sellers, is that you're solid pretty much up to about $750,000 across the board. It's a fairly strong seller's market regardless of the geography. It's only when you go north of that number that you need to understand the geography as well. So the message to buyers is that below $750,000, you have to be really competitive. And if you're north of $750,000 in Baltimore City, you start to gain a little bit of a competitive advantage. As always, if you want to know what this means for your home in your area or in an area where you're searching, just give us a call and we'll be happy to conduct the proper analysis for that particular area so that you know exactly what you're dealing with. And if you found today's information helpful, please like and comment and share. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And keep tuning in every Monday for additional Monday Market Updates. This is Brad Cox with the Vesta Group of Long & Foster. Thanks very much for watching.